I believe this is the second video I'm doing on this um, item. Uh, it's the Microsoft wireless display. I believe this is version two. And I forgot what the difference between the two versions were. I might have been range. Uh, if I figure that out, I'll let you know. There's something about it. Um, so this allows you to connect to any HDMI display, USB at the other end to allow you to allow it to get power and you transmit video and audio signal from a computer. It, it Windows, um, I'm gonna say Windows 8 and above can see this um, display. The Windows 10, this the driver automatically is installed when you install Windows 10, so you don't have to worry about that. This is a, uh, for anything else, you have to install the drivers. I believe they're on Microsoft. So my idea that I wanted, the idea that I have in using this second one that I've purchased is to replace this. So this is my laptop. I put it at the end of the table where the sofa is. This is my sofa. And I sit here and I work on some videos and other stuff that I do. I'm doing uploads and stuff. So I, um, the computer does well, but it's, uh, it gets taxed many times. And it takes longer to get things done. It does it but it just takes a long time. And I also have to run a wire across the floor so that I have internet connection because the wireless is just not gonna cut it, especially with uploads. So it works well. This is a 15 inch MacBook uh, Pro. I think it's a 2012 version. And um, you know, I'm very happy with it. It works well, but again, I mean, you could hear that fan go off and it takes longer than Using this computer, my Alienware computer, which has, I think it's 64 gigs of memory, an SSD, uh, one terabyte SSD SATA drive, and uh, a, I think it's uh, an i7, or an, I think it's an i7, and uh, a 1080 video card. So it's just so much faster to get things done, like to. Um, convert videos, cut videos, put videos together, and encoding, stitching, putting it together, editing it, removing, you know, different things, uh, uh, sound, all that other stuff. So this computer is probably about 50 times faster than the other one. My problem is, is that it's in another room. So my plan is to use the display. I'm going to plug it into this. As a matter of fact, disregard that. I'm going to send the video from here. Now, this is my usual display, which is a 40... Well, this is my whole display, which I use, which are two 49-inch displays. I don't, I'm not going to bring that over there. So, I want to use my 24-inch... <clears throat> excuse me. 24-inch TV to send the signal to this with the Microsoft... Display adapted. That's actually what I so, want to do. I'm, uh, and it's on a tripod, so I want to be able to put it right at the end of the couch and be able to take this keyboard and mouse, which has a direct... Um, I, I'm going to get a signal because this one room is right on the other side of the other. There's no door or anything, so there's an opening. I'm hoping the Bluetooth will be able to reach... The living room. If not, I'll get another Bluetooth and make an extension to make sure that the signal gets to the uh, keyboard and mouse that I want to use. So I want to use this to edit my video and stuff like that in this corner. So I want to replace that, put the TV here, have it facing this way. That's a 15 inch. I'm going to a 24 inch. It's only a 720p, but I don't need crystal clear signal. I just need to work from over here to the other side. This will allow me to monitor, to be able to work and monitor my kids doing their homework and uh, be part of the family instead of stuck in my office. So wish me luck. Let me do the unboxing of the Microsoft wireless display. Let's open up the box. I'll have this at the end. I'll scan the box. Uh, lifting here. That's pretty 
pretty easy. This is the uh, USB extension. And you can't reach the USB plug. Uh, some warranty information. Some other information. Even some more information. I think that's it. Nothing else is in the box. Okay, that's everything in there. That's everything in the box. Let's take a closer look at the device. So again, what this does is allows you to send your Windows 10. It's made for Windows 10 mostly. To send your Windows 10 um, display wirelessly. So you, I had this on a projector in my backyard. Um, you can put it anyway. It's pretty cool. Windows 10 will pick it up. You just click on the find wireless display and it'll find it with no issues whatsoever. I've never had an issue with it. It works very well. So that's how. Put it up in there. This is HDMI, and the total length. The actual cable. Almost 15. The USB side okay. and then you have the extension will gives you an additional six inches six inches I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it this is just to protect it this is the HDMI end a USB and you just uh, plug it in to protect the uh, tips. It's the second version. I'll have some of this at the end. Not all of it, but some of it. I guess I can put this. Uh, and then this is just going to be a thick, I guess, warranty information, one of the normal ones. This will not be at the end. So let's try it out and see if, it, if my idea works. I plugged it in here and now I'm running it on the other side is where the USB is. So this is held up with Velcro. So I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna get a piece of uh, wire tie to hold this cable up. I just left it hanging there. It seems to be holding up. It's fine. So now, let's do the keyboard. I'm gonna set up. Was using that gun. And he was firing on. I set up the display. Well, let me just. What I did was, I actually added a USB keyboard and mouse, a separate one, so I don't have to lug the one in the front. I'll keep. The other one's over there, and I'll throw them in a drawer or something when I'm done with them. This is the signal. This is the USB device that gives the, sig the wireless signal to the keyboard and mouse. And it's going from here, as you can see, all the way across to where the display is going to be placed. So I'm hoping that's a direct shot. This is the actual keyboard and mouse I'm going to be using with that display.
Okay, the display that they're having problems with, but the actual TV is allowing me to connect to the TV. So maybe I don't even need the Microsoft display adapter. That is so cool, the TV. Look at it right there, that's new to me. All right, let's try it again. That is so cool. So the timer is going down, I just wanna show you. That is cool. I'll keep the display adapter, but I'm now I'm switching just to the TV, always allow. So let me see how it looks. Okay. trying to update it but I keep getting a failed update error let me try it again So it says firmware update available. Click here to get it. Okay, I'd like to update it and I'm having, everything's connected, no issues. And then it disconnects. Okay, it looks like I figured out, I hoped I figured out the issue. The USB on the TV is just not powerful enough to run the Microsoft display adapter. So I connected to a separate USB power and now it looks like it's updating fine. This is, it says update, updating firmware. It looks like it's connecting. I think the power is just not enough off of the USB. Uh, there must be not enough power on the USB uh, port on the TV. It would have disconnected by now, but it is connected and it's updating the firmware. Let's see if we get it going. Yeah, now it's actually updating. I can see the bar moving, as you can see. You can see it on the computer, it's actually moving. It was the uh, USB. It was just didn't have enough power, so I, I'm gonna put an extension on it and kind of run it with the power and get that going. So I think that should work just fine. On the TV, it says update update successful awesome
So I'm having a lot of issues using connecting this computer right here to the Wi-Fi. Oh, I'm sorry, not the Wi-Fi, but the wireless display adapter. I keep getting an error. I don't know what it is. Okay. Connect. And there it is, but it just never connects. See, I keep getting a... And I looked everywhere. I, I don't know what it is. So I'm... I've just given up on this computer and connecting it wirelessly. So I'm going to use this computer. This one. This is, this is my Oculus Rift computer. So I'm going to be using this one as my external uh, wirelessly connecting it too. So that way I can control everything from here too. And I don't want to give back the Microsoft display. I like it and I could use it in a different scenario. So right now, let me... So this is the actual device itself and then... If you see the keyboard and mouse change, so let me switch things out. Let me connect. Okay, it's connecting. And let me choose, let me get closer. I'm having a lot of hold on. So I choose connect. It'll come up and I'm connecting to it. So right now it's connected at duplicate mode. So I should see the same at the other. So here it is. And this is the actual display. So I'm going to use it like this. I don't know what this is about. I guess that'll go away later. And this is my setup. And this is how I'm using the Microsoft display. Now, one of the issues I was having was that um, connecting with this device caused the problem um, I wasn't getting enough power from the TV this is a TV so it's not high res it's a 720p TV and it's on a tripod so I move it around all I want so I'm just gonna tie this to the power cable and hide it but this is what I need to do to get the Microsoft display adapter to work on the TV on the tripod so that I can work with it from afar and pretty much I can go anywhere in the apartment connect it to that wirelessly and use it um, from afar so it serves my purposes okay i hope you liked the video thank you bye